1952 was one of the biggest years of UFO sightings in U.S. history. The culmination of that year was incredible sightings over the weekend of July 19th, 20th, and 26th, 27th. Washington International was picking up UFO returns. People were reporting sightings of strange lights in the sky. You've got these reports of these objects flying over the nation's capital. A week later, the situation essentially repeats itself. The press, having gone through this thing the week before, were better prepared, and they were down at the Washington International Airport asking what these things were that were being picked up by radar. We were getting the target returns on the ground about 2 or 3 in the morning. We were still getting these returns. Andrews Air Force Base scrambled two F-94 jet interceptors to investigate what was going on. This time, one of the pilots reported that he did see a group of lights, and he flew towards them, and they appeared to be all around him. Then they moved off, according to the ground radar and his report. Harry Truman made some phone calls to try to get some information on what was going on. Government people coming out of their offices saw these objects, and you couldn't tell them that it hadn't happened. The Air Force really had to say something. So they held the largest press conference since the end of the Second World War, run by the head of Air Force Intelligence, General Samford. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. General Samford and the rest of the Air Force uh, brass believe that these lights were caused from temperature inversion. And when that happens, that can cause anomalies in the radar. Radar signals can bounce and cause all kinds of mirages and illusions. I can't think that that explains the lights that these pilots are reported. The senior traffic controller, Harry Barnes, said, not a chance. We know through declassified literature, no one was really taking this weather explanation seriously. Nobody thought that was true because the Air Force had been chasing those objects. The Air Force baked it, the press served it, and the public ate it. That's really what happened.